Hello, TJ here. I received my first package from the Netherlands. And if you're a Spectrum user, you probably know who that may be. Uh, Bite Delight. They sell just tons of... And you couldn't have seen that when I switched it around, but Bite Delight. So they carry tons of neat things that they build for the Spectrum. I hadn't anticipated in buying this this quick because it was pretty costly. It's the ZX HD, which allows you to connect uh, your spectrum to a HDMI monitor. And the reason I've had to do it a little quicker than I expected because a cool computer I haven't shown you uh, a video for yet because I'm having video issues with it. Uh, uh, 128, which I'll be doing a video here on a bit is that uh, the SCART to HDMI connector that I purchased didn't work that well. Unfortunately, it did bring in video, which is great. I'm in the United States, so the TV that I had was a 4K TV that was supposed to be able to be PAL compatible. Uh, but I would get video, and then it would shake, shake, shake. So I kind of posted that in the uh, different Facebook groups, and, and um, so I figured it's time to bite the bullet and purchase the ZX HD. Uh, all told, it was almost $130 to the United States, so pretty expensive purchase, but I was anticipating buying one eventually anyway, because I think it's great to be able to connect probably my best uh, spectrum to a nice HDMI monitor, have it in my office so I can use it daily and enjoy it. So I went ahead and did the purchase. It arrived in this thin little box, so at first I thought, man, that thing's thin, but I've I had to remember that you have to do a little assembly because the little Raspberry Pi card that comes with it, I guess for probably licensing and type of issues, you couldn't put it on the board and have it all assembled. Um, you have to put it in yourself, which is fine. It's not doesn't look like it's going to be that big of a deal. So I'm just going to go ahead and do a little unboxing here of my first purchase from Bite Delight, Ben. You'll see him on all sorts of great videos. He seems like a real cool character. And um, I'm going to enjoy seeing if this makes my uh, 128 work. I sure hope so, because I spent a lot of money on it. If it doesn't, the guy that I purchased it from uh, said he'd be willing to take it back. He's in the U.S., so that's cool. But I expect this should work good. So, so I'm going to shimmy this up here and just kind of pop it open. And this is my little work mat that I've got down here because it's going to take a little assembly and I want to kind of protect everything. So I already, as you can see, cut the box open. So I'm opening it for the first time. Looks like uh, Bite Delight. He's got a little brochure of all these other things I'm going to have to spend money on. <laughs> Look at that stuff. It's awesome. I'm going to have to really you know, save or sell body parts or something to find all, be able to buy all this stuff. So anyway, that nice little brochure. Looks like it comes with a nice little manual, which I'm definitely going to probably need to be able to set things up. Looks like this is a step-by-step -step on installing that Raspberry uh, Pi card, probably. So I'll be following that. I don't know if I'm going to video that part or not, but I may uh, if I have time. So there's a nice little manual <clears throat> in color printed on uh, you know nice office paper, it looks like. So nice little manual. Here is, it looks like, um, some the ZX HD itself. Everything's in a nice little static uh, baggie. And I'll figure out how this all connects here in a little bit. So there's the two boards. Here's the Raspberry Pi that's uh, supposed to come pre-soldered. And I can just plug it in someplace here, which is great because... Man, it's been a while since I've soldered, and my solder kind of sucks. I need to buy a nice new one. Uh, looks like uh, a micro SD card adapter, so that there must be a card in there too. Yep, and some screws, I guess, for the case to be able to close it. Yeah, you would get a nice uh, HDMI cable. My guess is because a lot of people might not have, I'm guessing this is a mini a regular full size so provided a cable and the case so this is a nice professional case 
comes in two parts here, so I'll show you this part first. So, ZX HD. And here's the uh, inside of the bottom part. And on the back it says uh, ZX HD 2016 Ben Verstick. Probably pronouncing it wrong. Verstick. Verstick. And also M I M R E Jack Jackley. So I'm just gonna say Imre Jackley. <laughs> Bitedelight.com. So. I've seen in other packages and I've read online and I was expecting a cookie because he sends these nice little Stroop waffles. But I think to send it to the United States having food inside of a package is probably not a good idea. Might uh, have some customs issues. So anyway, this is the uh, manual again. This is what I've purchased at XHD. I'll be assembling it and hoping that it works properly. And if all goes well, you'll see a Another video that I'll do showing my 128 running with this cool device. So thanks for watching everyone. Alright, I decided to go ahead and film this for the heck of it. So the instructions are pretty good. Basically shows you how to put everything together. I've put my anti-static wrist guard on. I don't know if you have to technically connect this to some other device, but I've always wore it anytime I play with PC boards. I think it helps. Um, so step one, nice thing is they do have a little barcode. Ben made a barcode so it shows you a video. I watched that I think um, a number of weeks ago for the heck of it before I bought one. So. He's saying here, step one, assemble your res actually, yeah. Assemble your Raspberry Pi Zero. Uh, this step should be done technically because uh, his website talks about uh, the pins being soldered on already for you, which was great. So let's go ahead and take it out of the package. So there's the little. Raspberry Pi. First Raspberry Pi I've ever uh, owned. Never had one before. And it basically talks about, uh, hey, make sure you do the soldering. So I can skip on to the next part. So mounting the top circuit board to the lower circuit board. So let's go ahead and get those out. I'm going to break my little seal here. Take out the two boards. I love black PC boards, by the way. Look beautiful. So from what his picture shows, this is what he calls the top circuit board. And this one is the lower. So he covers that right here in the, in the little booklet. And carefully insert the male pin header of the top board into the female pin header of the lower board. So he kind of shows a picture here. So it looks like if you're following the pictures, like so. And here's the back of it. So you can kind of see it matches his picture. And this is going to be connecting into here. So I'm going to go ahead and be careful. I'm going to take off my glasses. I see better close up without those darn things. Make sure they're all aligned up. Push. Boom. There she is. Everything seated. No bent pins. All looks hunky-dory. So again, just com he uh, covers a little thing in red here. I think that's just for the uh, lining up of the, uh, the pins there. So mine looks like that. So... That's done. And he covers in the back, make sure all the pins in there in the socket and so on. So, step three, mount the Raspberry Pi Zero. So, Raspberry Pi Zero. And it looks like it's going to be plugging in this direction. So he basically says, now mount the pin header of the Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to be pushing that in. So again, Matching up, making sure it looks like his picture. Make 
sure everything's lined up. Push. Even a dummy like me can do it. Cool. So Raspberry Pi is connected. On to insert circuit boards into the case. So let's find the case. So it looks like he's talking about this part and showing uh, here, matching up the picture. This is going to kind of slip in here. Like so. So that's done. And it looks just like that. Close the case and insert SD card. So let's get the back of the case here. You'll see there's some guides here. So they plug in the right direction here. So I'm going to just make sure I put it in right. Don't want to put it in all half backwards there. So now some screws. And I should probably make sure. Oh, it looks like the SD card can go in afterwards, so I'll plug that in afterwards. Everything is so small these days. It's, when you get older, hard to see stuff. Enough. I like to kind of, since I work on old Volkswagens, <clears throat> dealing with, you know, I like to put little, uh, don't screw in everything hard right away. Just kind of get it semi in there. Every corner slightly, slightly tight. And then work your way diagonally to tighten everything up. Snug that one up just enough. Don't over wrench these things. Just enough. Just enough. Just enough. That don't fit. <laughs> I'm going to have to. Maybe it's a. He just sends it with a. A uh, full size card too, so I'll be slipping this out and slipping it in here. So I'll do that afterwards. So there's the ZX HD all assembled. HDMI side. So now I've got a completely assembled unit. Sweet! Now it becomes testing time, so hopefully all goes well with testing, and uh, we'll come back at you in a bit. All right, I'm back in my home office here where my testing of the ZX HD that I just put together in my kitchen table is going to happen. I've got my toast rack. I haven't shown you my unboxing video of that yet. I had video issues where the video 
from the SCART to HD connector wasn't working right. It actually brought in video, which was cool, but it kind of shifted around and wasn't quite right. So that drove me to buy my ZX HD from Byte Delight. So I've got my toast rack here in front of me. I've went ahead and connected my ZX HD to the back of it, made sure it was connected into a clean expansion port. I connected my HD cable that was provided to the back of my Omen 32 inch HDMI monitor from uh, HP. And I don't know if you can see it in the video here, but I've got my trusty uh, 110, the 220 volt up transformer that I'm going to be running the uh, ZX uh, 128 uh, toast rack from. So this is going to be my first test. I've got everything connected. I'm going to point the camera at the screen and hopefully everything works as it should. So let's see if I can change the video up here a little bit. Kind of shift things around. I'm going to pan out a little bit so you can see the uh, ZX HD in there also and my I just have my monitor in sleep mode there so hopefully it just works so I'm gonna go ahead and push the power button and let's see what happens blue lights come on my monitor is flicked on hey look at that ZX HD version 1.02 mode. And in the booklet, it talks about uh, what those different modes are. It tells you and it finds your computer automatically so it knows whether it's a Spectrum 48 or 128K. It tells us what the speed is, what resolution is HDMI 1824 by 984, the core, and the ARM. ZX HD ULA Plus, and it's got uh, all that fun stuff. ZX HD is ready. Press reset to start. So there's a little reset button on here. I'm going to go ahead and push that, and there we go. I'm booted up. So far, so good. Video's not shimmying, which is what happened before. Sometimes uh, with the, the SCART connector, it took a, a minute or two, so I'm going to wait to celebrate completely until then but let's just go ahead and do calculator all right five plus five ten all right that worked cool so i'm just going to hit the reset button over here just to see what happens i don't know if i have to hit the reset button on this every time after a reset of the computer but i'm going to go ahead and reset the toast rack all right, it goes right to that, so I guess it keeps the connection. You don't have to hit that uh, reset again. I'll have to read a little bit more, but so far so good. Video is really tight, beautiful. Let's go down to a 48K basic. Hit return. 10. Print. <coughs> Hello, ZX HD. Forgot, uh, yeah, I got it in there. HD, and quote, 20, go to 10, enter, run, yes. Oh, looks like it kind of got a little locked up there. Not sure what that is, could be the toast rack, could be anything. I'm going to go ahead and hit reset button not doing anything there just kind of stuck how about if I reset on here no I guess I'll have to do a power down so not quite sure what that is that's interesting I'll probably keep it in the video just to that's how things pan out so I'm gonna go ahead and power it off be interesting to find out what that was power back on let's see if things come back up all right, that's up. Forty-eight K basic. We'll do my little basic program again. Ten. Print. Hello. 
ZX HD 20 go to 10 run yes yes no maybe just one of those freak anomalies um, again I had hit the reset button over here maybe when you reset that you're supposed to reset this too I'll have to read but it uh, does appear to be working obviously I'm gonna try to run some games on this and see what happens this is the first time I'm really using the toast rack and yeah I guess after a while you could cook some toast on here or yeah, it gets a little warmer that's not bad so right now video is looking beautiful it's not shifting um, good so far so I'll uh, load some games up play with them see how it keeps going but so far so good that's my end of the video for the ZX HD and it just went to that screen automatically I don't know if it does that again and this is all new to me so I don't know if you're in basic if it will automatically just do that so I'll be tinkering and see how things uh, pan out alright thanks for watching bye